in this one, um, we're solving an unknown value in the actual equation. Okay, they've told us that x minus 2 is a factor of this equation if k is equal to what value? We have to solve for k. Well, in order to factor this, there's a couple ways. We can do long division and kind of work backwards through this, or we can use synthetic division and try to work through it that way. So let's try our synthetic division here. Okay, If x minus 2 is a factor, what's the value we use in our synthetic division? What well, number would be over here? If what? Oh, 2? Yeah, that's right. Right. We set it equal to 0, x is equal to 2. So 2 is our number. And we write our coefficients in, which are 2, k, negative 1, and 14. Okay. Have they told us the remainder at all in this question at all? Anything? No. Okay. Um, Okay, so through synthetic division, we know that we bring this value down, and we would get 2. We would then do 2 times 2 is equal to 4, right? So that would give us 4. This here is going to be, whatever this would be, k minus 4, okay? That would, is what this value would normally be equal to. But we don't know what it is, because we don't know what k is, okay? From there, I would multiply this 2 by that to get my next value. When I multiply 2 by that, I'm going to get 2k minus 8. Okay, And then if I subtract that, which I'm going to do on the side, negative 1, um, subtract 2k, and because I'm subtracting it, it will end up being plus 8, because the subtraction should be, here, I'll show you. It should this would be minus 2k minus 8, but we distribute that negative, so we get negative 1 minus 2k plus 8, so we end up with negative 2k plus 7, okay? So that's our value down here. I thought you added them. Oh, yeah, sorry. Did I subtract? Whoops. This should be plus. Good call. Thanks. should be plus 4, um, which means this is plus 8, and then when we add it to there, all that work was for nothing. Uh, negative 1 plus 8 is just going to be our um, plus 7. So it would be 2k plus 7. Okay, is that value there? And then we would again multiply this. This would get 4k plus 14. And when we add those together, we would get 4k plus 28. Okay, so we have some unknown values here when going through this. But what we do know is they said this is a, a proper factor. So what it, in other words, there is no remainder, zero. Okay, so we've gone through it this way. What we can do using this information above, we're going to use it again. We're going to rewrite this out with our coefficients. We have 2, 2k negative 1 and 14. Well, we know that this at the end is going to be 0 because this is a factor. So with that being said, what value would I have to actually add or kind of put into here? What value would I have to add to 14 to get 0? Negative 14. Negative 14. Okay. Well, if that information going backwards, because remember we normally multiply by 2, I should divide that value by 2 to tell me what this number is going to be, right? Mm -hmm. So negative 14 divided by 2 is? Negative 7. Negative 7. Okay. Well, negative 1 plus what would give us negative 7? Plus negative 6. Negative. Plus 6. Plus negative 6. All right. One way we can figure it out is to do this. Negative 1 plus x equals negative 7. When we move it over, x equals negative 7 plus 1, negative 6. Excellent. So our value would be negative 6. Same idea, to get back here, we would divide by what? 2. 2, okay. Negative so 3. Negative 3. Now we don't know what the k is, but we do know that 2 it comes down here. So 2 times 2 gives us what? 4. 4. Okay, so this is where this comes important. I guess the original part we didn't have to really go through, but it was just to give you an, an idea of what we were doing. Yeah. So this becomes our new equation. K plus 4 equals negative 3. 
right? We'll move 4 over. k is equal to negative 3 minus 4. k equals negative 7. And the reason I did this stuff at the beginning, just to show you, so k is negative 7. Let's kind of plug those in to what we had, okay? So we didn't actually have to do this beginning part, but this is our check. So if this is negative 7, this becomes negative 7 plus 4, which is negative 3. That works out. Negative 7 times 2 is 14 plus 7 is set negative 7. That works out. And negative 7 times 4 is 28 plus tw uh, 28 is 0. So they work. I just use that part as a check. This is the part you really have to focus on, is just doing that, though, okay. without the check. Okay? Does that make sense? Yeah. We're going backwards. So the key was to know what the remainder was. And because they said it was a factor, the remainder had to be 0. Oh. If they said there was a remainder of 9, then we would have put 9 in at the last turn, doing synthetic division. Okay. 